Hello, Aida. Hi. You are the chairwoman of the gender committee uh, in the Knesset, uh, is it right? Can you yes. uh, talk about uh, what you are doing as a chairwoman, as a left chairwoman in the Knesset? Well, it was uh, a challenging uh, post when I uh, got uh, that, uh, and it was mainly because of the joint list that we became the third uh, uh, group in the parliament. This is the first time that an Arab-Palestinian woman, or a man in general, parliamentarian, who is heading a, com uh, a committee. That's why it is challenging, because first of all, you have to... Uh, for me, it was important to show that this committee is open for all women and mainly marginal, marginalized women in mm -hmm. the Israeli society. Uh, it was also very important for me to bring and to echo the voices of the Palestinian Arab women citizens mm -hmm. of Israel and to tackle the issue of gender in a political, very uh, uh, complicated uh, political uh, uh, context. Uh, we are dealing with all aspects of life and rights of women. Um, I'm tackling very uh, uh, clearly the issue of domestic violence, of gender-based violence. We are talking about the right of women for employment in the beginning because, for example, only 30% of the uh, Palestinian uh, women uh, are working. Uh, and it is very important also in a situation where privatization of the different working places is taking over in Israel and of course mm -hmm. the um, uh, uh, conditions of work for women are deteriorating. It was very important for me to deal with this issue very heavily. And as you know, Israel is, is still uh, connecting the personal status issues to religious uh, laws and this is creating a lot of problems and uh, is violating the rights of women in the sphere of the family issues mm. and we need also to deal with this. On the other hand, there are specific problems for the Palestinian women. For example, feeling insecure in homes uh, when their homes are threatened to be confiscated, mm. demolished and uh, to lose uh, the roof on top of their heads and their families. Mm -hmm. this, all these <coughs> various issues are brought into the committee. For my regret, as someone who is coming from the opposition, and as someone who is coming from the joint list, mm -hmm. uh, who is mainly it's not excluded, so it's not so easy. Mm -hmm. And many times I have the feeling that I have to run a struggle inside the Knesset to uh, maintain the status of the committee as a statutory committee and that can be able to promote legislations. Mm -hmm. This is confiscated from me now in the committee because the coalition do not rely on me on this. Let us uh, talk about, have you any contacts or many contacts with, the, with other NGOs, other women projects to give him uh, to give them uh, a voice in a, in a Knesset? Is it possible? possible? As someone who is coming from the NGOs, I ran uh, an NGO for, uh, um, that is called Women Against Violence. I was co-founder in it and I did a lot of lobby vis-a-vis uh, mm. -vis the mm. parliament. I understand, as understand the power and the importance of being in a relation with the NGOs. Uh, one of my main goals was to open the um, committee for a real involvement of the NGO, of mm. the women uh, and feminist movement in Israel to see in the committee an address to come and to bring the issues on the table and to try to promote uh, legislations and to try to promote issues related to women's rights. Um, I have good connections. Actually, last week I had a wonderful meeting preparing for the winter session with the mm -hmm. different NGOs and we discuss how we can uh, deal with the issues that are burning now in, uh, in Israel. Uh, especially in a situation with uh, um, the right uh, uh, wing uh, government mm -hmm. is not creating a foundation for mm -hmm. promoting women's rights. We are talking more about denial of uh, sexual harassment. Mm, we are mm. talking about members of parliament from the right wing who do not want to deal with the issues related to the Palestinian women. They have a lot of prejudices and stereotypes mm. against uh, uh, Palestinian women 
citizen of Israel, I think that we are in a kind of a backlash when it comes to uh, women's rights, and that's why the main resource of power is creating those connections with the NGO. I think it's very important that you, especially uh, you as a Palestinian uh, representative, uh, are in the Knesset as a chairwoman, and I hope all the best for your many power for your I, I know you are a powerful uh, woman. Thank you. Um, and I hope that you are uh, in, in your works very successful. Thank you very much. I think that uh, we need to focus very much now these days uh, mm. in, in this position and as a parliamentarian on implementation of 1325 because mm. we are living in a an yes, armed of conflict and its implications on women is very clear. Israeli women in general and Palestinian women mm. want to live in secure, peaceful atmosphere. And mm. I think it's about time also to make the committee deal with these mm. issues. These are huge challenges, but I'm doing them with a lot of uh, uh, belief in what I'm doing and I'm really thankful. Thank you. Thank you.